Today I'm going to calculate the percentage uh, water content in my sample here, which comes from one of our silage fields at home. What you'll need is your sample, you'll need a weighing container, and you'll need a set of scales. Um, and I like to use um, a, a foil tray. Now, you need dry soil samples for multiple of your speci specified practical activities. So I would suggest you doing this experiment first and using a large sample size. So what I like to do is I like to put my weighing container on first and I like to put my scales to zero. That way I don't have to worry about the, the weight of the container to begin with. And I have removed all pear material, little small rocks and pebbles from this soil sample to begin with. So I'm just looking at the soil and not uh, and not a lot of rocks in in it. Okay, so I have 69.72 grams. And I'm just gonna take note of that. Now, I'm going to turn off my scales. I'm going to make sure I put everything into my foil tray. Okay, make sure you get everything out of your original container. And the reason I like to use the foil tray is because it, it doesn't take as long and the heat spreads evenly throughout the sample. Okay, so you can see most of it's gone be negligible and I'm going to put it into an oven at 105 degrees Celsius and what I like to do is I like to leave it in there for about 10 minutes and then after 10 minutes come back and wait and if the and and put it back in for another say five minutes and wait again and once the mass of the soil sample remains the same then you know you have lost all it has lost all its water